So is it safe to be on a ketogenic diet uh, perpetually? I would say probably for some people, yes, um, but not for everyone. And there's certainly some people that probably should not be on a ketogenic diet at all. Um, so of course, talk to your physician about it. If your physician's unfamiliar, find a physician that is familiar, uh, meet with a dietitian if you can. Um, but there's certainly some people that do not prosper perpetually on a ketogenic diet. Though, those with, with cancer on a cancer protocol uh, follow what the protocol defines. Someone should be watching you, making sure that it is safe. Uh, for those that are, do not have cancer and are simply on a ketogenic diet because they want to try to reduce their risk, um, it's, a, it's a good question. I, I know myself, I'm not on a ketogenic diet permanently. I don't think I function best on it. Uh, I know a lot of other researchers that are not on it permanently. I cycle in and out of ketosis and I know that that works well for a lot of people. I think, in my opinion, that probably works better for the majority of people than being in constant ketosis. There's the issue of, is it safe? And I think for a lot of people, it certainly is. I know people that have been on it for decades. Um, again, that's not for everyone. Is it achievable? That creates a whole nother issue. It's, it is difficult in today's society to stay in perpetual ketosis. And that's even for me, for those of us that are very well versed in this, they're okay being socially ostracized for being on a, a ketogenic diet. It, it is difficult. And those of a lot of, there's a handful of researchers that say it's quite easy and I just, I don't think it's, it's that easy. So uh, is it safe? Probably for a lot of people, not everyone. I know this is kind of a, a cop out of an answer, but uh, it creates stress also for people that can't do it. So when I have patients that try to do a ketogenic diet, you know, I tell them we're not sure if this is going to work or not. We're not sure if it's going to increase the efficacy of radiation or chemotherapy. There's certainly a lot of mouse studies that show that it will, but we don't know for sure. So if it is absolutely devastating to that person, their family, for them to follow the diet, a diet that we don't know in that case if there's a benefit, then they're probably someone who should not be on it all the time.